my forces protect. Cause without a rebel. Good to see you again, Arlea. Alexstrasza doesn't think we can stop the rebels effectively through force, despite the successes you've had. To find other ways forward, Alexstrasza has called Maldra Flametongue here to talk about the rebellion and what drew her to it. Perhaps it would be helpful to join the conversation and see what Maldra has to say. To avoid prying rebel eyes and ears, they will be meeting below us on the second level of the Sea of the Aspects. I already was there. Listen to Alex Strauss's conversation with Maldra Flametongue. Valdraken stands strong. Alright. So, we go back to where we were. I could have picked up the quest there as well. But I prefer to have, you know, to go about the right steps. Had the full experience. I don't know how long this quest is. It could be five seconds. It could be a brief conversation. Um, I just have to now go back up to where I was. I have no idea how long this quest is going to take. Um, I don't really have anything else uh, else to do on Arlea this week. and you know, Except for um, Avarice. Um, but might get her, put her in for some niffin digging. Okay, here we go. So when I saw we were hurting the other dragonkin, I knew I was on the wrong side. But what drew you to their cause? You do not seem dishonorable. No, it was honor that drew me to the cause. The treatment of dragonkin seemed dishonorable. We cared for this land for centuries without the dragons, but were reduced to mere servants when you returned. So I joined the rebels because we had been pushed aside, expected to serve as though the dragons had never left. Apologies, my queen. An urgent matter requires I interrupt. Investigator... God, I'm missing all the dialogue. <laughs> the rebels are stockpiling explosive... <laughs> explosives in my home? You must stop them before they do something unforgivable. Okay, let me read more of this because there was a lot of talking over and stuff. Um, apologies, my queen. An urgent matter requires I interrupt. That's what, that's what, that's what Investigator Rima came in. I'm trying to, to read this dialogue here. I want to get it right. Um, so on the Jimmy Jill calls. We cared for some centuries without the dragons. So I joined the rebels because we had been pushed aside, expected to serve as though the dragons had never left. This says, Apologies, my queen. An urgent matter requires I interrupt. This Investigator Rima? What do you have to report? The rebels have stopped piling explosives beneath the city to collapse the aqueduct. Damn. Okay. I, I missed the whole aqueduct part. Explosives in my home? You must stop them before they do something unforgivable. Okay. That's where I come in. I'm actually it's in Maldra Flame Town. Well, I don't know who to talk to now. The Isles have awakened. Okay, I guess that, that doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. For the glory of the dragons. I found the rebels are stockpiling a huge number of bombs beneath the Valdraken Aqueduct. We must stop them. Go in service. I'm going to make sure I read the dialogue. I managed to infiltrate a rebel camp down in Scalewatch Cavern. It seemed like any other camp, except for frequent wagons coming into the camp with their contents covered. Eventually, I was able to discreetly make my way to where the, dra to where the wagons <laughs> would be unloaded. The rebels are stockpiling bombs, but it's even worse. They're piling the bombs against the pillars directly beneath the aqueduct from Tearhold. Meet me down there, and we'll find a way to stop this. Meet Arima at Scalewatch Caverns. Aspects watch over you. I'll come as well. You'll need help. We'll meet you at Scalewatch Cabin, Arlea. Oh. So, we've... Yeah. Um, this is exactly what I, the turn I thought it was going to take. I didn't think it was going to escalate quite so quickly, but... Uh... Aspects grace shine down on you. 
Thank you for joining us, Alea. We are discussing why I originally joined the Rebellion. Aspects Responding does nothing. Um, Alexstrasza won't talk All to me. Investigating me won't talk to me anymore. I guess I'm going to the caverns. So that's, you know, as much as I'm against gentrification, do not believe in bombing things. I don't know what other, you know, what actually does work, because God knows that there's not much has worked in New York City. Um, but it's nice to see this side and it not be pushed aside as like, we're back, everybody. And yeah, it pissed people off. The people that have been here this whole damn time. Understandable. Completely understandable. I don't know why I did this. Oh. So. So yeah, let's go deal with some bombs. Um, bombing the aqueduct. Now... The aqueduct carries water from Tearhold to the Ruby Life Pools. So this is very intentional. It's not just a matter of flooding an area, what have you. Um, it's very specific what they're trying to do. I that's I got on. I, now I know why I got in the mound. To fix my boots. There. So. Where am I headed? there. Alright. Here we go. I mean, there's still a bit of lag, but it's way improved to how it was. There was something else I wanted to check out, too, that the other... I tried doing on... I tried doing on my... And it's right near here, too, so I could do it I tried doing on my hunter and she died so quickly on one of my hunters I should say and she died very very quickly it was over here so I, I'll stop there afterwards it was interesting thank you for coming so quickly earlier let's put a stop to this threat all right let's put let, let's do let's put a stop to this threat It may be possible to avoid. Okay. Okay. So, what they said that I wasn't paying attention to. Um, the camp is heavily guarded. You'll have to fight your way in. That's Ivesca Rima. Maldra Flaying Town says it may be possible to avoid some fighting. It's more difficult to take prisoners, but I know a spell that should make it possible. Vesca Reem says, if you are able to take prisoners, do so, but don't risk the aqueduct. We must stop those bombs. I never gave up hope. While we're putting a stop to this bombing, I've got some ideas for how we can learn more about what's driving the rebellion. We seem to be in time, Marlea. Let's put a stop to this before the aqueduct is destroyed. Agitator Zarelek. Irreconcilable differences. I wish we never had to raise arm against fellow Dragonkin, Arleia. We should be allies, not enemies. Unfortunately, their leader, Agitator Zarelek, the title's Agitator, uh, <laughs> made the choice for us when he threatened the aqueduct. Fight your way inside the cave and put a stop to Agitator Zarelek by any means necessary before he can set up those bombs. Then bring back the de detonator so we can secure it. Once we have that, the scale sword will be able to remove the bomb safely. Kill Agitator Zarelek and recover the detonator. Guard against chaos. I thought we were taking prisoners. The waters oh, she's got two for me. While we're putting a stop to this bombing, I've got some ideas of how we can learn more. Okay, this. No, no prisoners. <laughs> Until we meet again. Valkstrasse tr truly wants the really truly wants to find the causes of this rebellion. We need to hear out the rebels. To do that, we have to safely detain rebels who want to kill us. 
Well, you. That's much harder than resorting to violence, and more dangerous as well. But I've experienced this when I left the Rebels. Orion Darkwater cast a spell to bind me totally. To bind me totally. It worked, and I paid close attention. I've imbued that spell into a ring. You can use it to bind them safely. It should work anyway. So there's a ring of binding she's going to let me use. Cool, cool, cool. May the flights protect us. Rebel rousing writings. <laughs> The rebels seem to have a lot of signs and flyers around the cave. They probably use it as a way to keep everyone aligned to their purpose and motivated to fight. It's hard to keep a large group united around a cause, especially if you use detestable methods like bombing civilians or destroying a water source without a steady stream of reinforcements. Let's get a let's get a bunch of their propaganda. It may tell us a lot about what they're thinking or who's telling them what to think. Gather five pieces of rebel propaganda. This is interesting. Um you know, who, who, it's kind of a who would the terrorists uh, kind of question. Um, and how do you keep people supporting your cause when you resort to violence? And even though you're, even though your cause may very well be justified. So, yeah, it's an interesting, interesting little dive into this. Let's, let's say, let's, let's do the thing. I'm hoping I have enough gear from recent explorations to uh to make this not as painful as According it could be there my notes, there should be some unique artifacts in this area such the upper areas here while my team scouts below so i guess going to be these i'm i'm not i'm not doing that alita i'm sorry oh well, that's interesting It isn't working so well. I, I guess I don't really have a choice. Um, I didn't want to kill them. I wanted to bind them. I guess this is not going to go as smoothly. I'm not doing so well. Okay. <laughs> I'm not trying to stop the rebellion. I need to like go invisible so I can freaking heal. The problem is, it, it it started out badly because I tried to bind one, and two others were attacking at the same time. I tried to bind all three. I couldn't bind a single one. Okay, so we're gonna try something a little different for, the, for these two. That seems to go better. It goes better when you're not being attacked. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You gotta do it without being attacked. <laughs> That's how it works. So. Propaganda collected. For the flightless, the aspects will wish they have listened. Okay. 
so not all of them. Another reason why I was PvPing today is I rearranged my buttons again on my new mouse. And nothing will teach you faster how to get your interrupts going. Um, than PvP. Right. Send a message to Belfin's camp. We need more explosives. So I was like, did he just bonk me on the head? Or just bonk into bonk? Okay, I actually have to uh, get this dude. But in the meantime... I am defeated, but the flightless will carry on. Okay, excuse me, agitator. I'll get back to you in a second. I know I can't train you. I'll, t you know, I will do the dragon scale quest after this. Let's see how well this goes. All right, this isn't so bad. My kin will carry on the fight. Sorry. I had to. You were going to kill people. You were going to kill innocent people. Okay. Oh, that's not fair. I don't even know if you can. Oh, you can. All right. Let's see how that goes. This might go very badly. Yep, that one is about as good as I thought it might. So I'm just gonna do that. All I did was make him angry. I need one I need more propaganda. I'm lacking propaganda. So I need one more propaganda. Which is over there. And I think I need one more rebel captured. See, I already know this is a quest I'm going to hate on a character that can't stealth. <laughs> it's going to be Matori. Matori's probably the next one to do this. Alright, so I need one more rebel. Perfect. All right, now I have, what's this? This is climbing gear acquired. I guess I'll do this quest while I'm here, over here. Why not? Might as well. Whoops, almost went right off the cliff. Oh wait, there was a... What's it? Oh no. Oh no! Did not mean to do that. I mean, I don't mean to take this little side. Eh, it's here, so that's why I'm doing it. Because I don't even do any of these. It's, I'm pretty much... It's Loam or nothing. 
Because I have... I'm maxed out on rep already. But wait, is there an opportunity to use Rupert's Helping Hand? I'm going to use Rupert's Helping Hand because I like to hear Rupert go. Do you require resistance? Rupert's the best. Apparently I ran out of grip. I could like literally just go over it. Is he worth it? You didn't get me annoying proto whelp. It's called annoying proto whelp. All right. So I'm just gonna take off here. I don't think I can. Yeah, I can't even. Can't even win anymore over. All right. Let's turn these in. Well, let's see who we've got here. Captured bruiser. Captured mender. Known prison. Until we meet again. This is the more difficult way. But every one we capture instead of kill is a chance to end this violence. And a life saved. May the I mean, I don't know if it says much. She's a red dragon, so that's going to be a little bit more important to her. Have you, got good, gotten, a, have you gotten a good sample of their writings? Aspects watch this own. seems to mostly be written by... Insta I mean... <laughs> Agitator, instigator, these titles, man. Um, instigator, Bellafon. I met her once when I was in the rebellion. If we can find her, perhaps we can stop her from inciting so much anger. I'll also be able to look through these for any codes or ciphers from my rebel days. They might still be useful to see if we. Can. I might be able to look through these for any codes or ciphers from my rebel days. They might be useful. They might still be using to see if we can find out more. Good work, Arlea. Go with the aspects. May the flights protect us. Were you able to stop Zoralek? Was the aqueduct saved? I don't. By stopping Zoralek from retrieving this detonator, you have secured the aqueduct for both Veldraken and the life pools. Like I said. Tear hold the waters from tear hold go to the life pools. I have thoughts about that. Complete quest. Glory to all dragons. I have lived to see them return. Temporary accommodations. We've been sending the rebel prisoners to. S I've been standing here this whole time. When have you been sending them to? Anyway, we've been sending the rebel prisoners to Steel Cliff Rampart. It's the barracks where Valdraken city guard, the Scaleshorn, are based. So there, so there are plenty of guards to keep them from causing harm or escaping. Head over there and we'll see what the next steps are in putting a permanent stop to this rebellion. Go to Steelcliff Rampart. Yeah. For dragon kind. The aqueduct is secured Aquilea. Arlea, thanks to you, and our person being taken to the They won't get away with anything in scales from space. Valdraken's finest may even allow them some freedom. I have a bad feeling about that. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about how that might turn out. I don't know. And not just because all the things is telling me there's a 
she's going to have a quest called Temporary Accommodations. And he's got one active listening skill. So, I mean, we'll see. Let's head over. I don't know. I don't think this quest was here last week. I think this quest um, was new this week. Which is interesting. They, they are like peppering these little... The prisoners will not talk to me. They see me as an enemy. Perhaps you'll have better luck, Arleia. Oh, oh, hey, Alex. How are you doing? I'm sorry. Well, I mean, Alex, you are intimidating in a way. Even if you are being all nice to them, you're still who you are. It's it's intimidating. But sure, I will. I will. Um, I'll talk to them. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm friendly. I'm a friendlier face. Um, thank you for coming earlier. I'm here to discuss with these prisoners why they want to rebel against the dragons. Please join me, and we'll see what they have to say. Oh, so Alex and I are going to be doing this together. All right. All right. This should be interesting. This should be interesting. Treasure the gift you have been given. Persistent dissidents. They're giving me quest names that are hard to say. Persistent dissidents. Uh, my goal is to see this rebellion brought to an end with as little violence as possible. To do that, I need to understand the root causes of the rebellion. I mean, I get it. I don't know why you don't see it yet, Alex. The rebels have clearly come to resent the aspects of the dragon flights. And while we had to use force to protect the dragon, that hasn't brought about an end to the rebellion. I'd like to speak to the prisoners and ask why they rebelled. I'll accompany you to hear their reasons. Ask five dragonkin, dragonkin why they rebelled. The balance must be maintained. Oh, so she's she's gonna run around with me. Cool. We okay. Alex is gonna follow me. Um, what's it? Captain Drine. I bring order. He has a quest for me later, though. All the things is messing me up. But let's let's find our first one. Aspects grace shine down. What else do you want besides my freedom? Dang! All right. Why did you rebel against the dragons? Go with the aspects. We didn't ask to serve the dragons. We didn't choose to serve the dragons. We were simply commanded to against our will. We wanted willing allies, not for servitude. It seems we took their allegiance for granted. A little bit? I'm gonna try to ask one in each color. So I, I asked a, a, I asked a bronze, so I'm gonna ask a green. The Isles have awakened. I have no desire to speak with you. Why did you rebel against the dragons? May the waters I don't see any reason we need the dragons. They left this land to us ten thousand years for ten thousand years, and everything was fine. That hadn't occurred to me, but surely they must need see we need to work together to protect the Isles. All right, so I spoke to a green. I spoke to a bronze. I have to speak to five, so I should hopefully find one in each color, right? Yes, I best go to a bronze. So I need to find a blue. I don't know why I'm doing I'm so fixated on this, but I need to find a blue, a black, what's the other one? <laughs> a red. A blue, black, and a red. So I'm hoping these... I don't really have a choice. They, they're pretty much R5, and those are the five I have to go with. I'm just hoping that they are all the, the flights. I want to see all, all the colors represented. So here we have a red. So maybe I'm, it'll do it for me. It's enough to be locked up here without talking to you as well. 
Why did you rebel against the dragons? Go with the aspects. Every time there's a war, the dragons send us off to die in huge numbers. They want us to fight for them. But what do we get from this? So many dragons have died to protect Azeroth over the centuries. I had viewed it as us fighting together, not just sending our troops to war. Alex! You need to pay more attention to folks. Nobody's in here. Sorry, Alex. Alright. We've got two more. Now I'm hoping it's like there's a blue, one's a blue, and the other sh I'm hoping is a black, because I think it's fair that they're all represented. It should be interesting. We'll see. I don't know what the last one is, but so far we've got one in every color. Just no one. What else do you want besides my freedom? Why did you rebel against the dragons? Trust only your eyes. Veldraken was our home, and the dragons pushed us out when they returned. We always said of Veldraken as our home. We must remember it is home to the dragonkin as well. Yeah, you do. Um. Oh. Okay, so we're not talking to a, the the. We're not talking to a, a black dragon, Ken. They seem to be on board anyway. I don't know. Um, let's see. Trust no one. It's enough to be locked up here without talking to you as well. Why did you rebel against the dragons? Farewell. I have all my own dreams besides fighting wars for dragons. I had not considered this. Do not wish to prevent them from pursuing their own dreams. Come back with me. Come back with me. And we'll enter the... Bar. Come with me back to Captain Dryan at the entrance of the rampart. I'd like to discuss what the rebels are saying. What do you want? The world will change. Well, I guess I won't talk to you again. I don't, I don't believe it. So let's go talk to... Let's go talk to Dryan. I mean, yeah, it, they're right. Um, I don't think they're right to go so far as to blowing up an aqueduct that seems extreme. What that seems like is someone with more nefarious goals taking advantage of the situation. Um, let's see. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. I serve the aspects. Be safe. I might not agree with all their reasons. Certainly not their violent methods. But I have a new understanding of why they want change. Hmm. Fair skies and strong winds. That was enlightening, to say the least. The rebels we talked to had a lot to say, which I wouldn't have anticipated. I have my thoughts on the situation, but... What did you think of their grievances? As neither a dragon nor dragonkin, you bring a certain objectivity to the matter. Discuss the rebel grievances of Alex Straza. Oh, snap. I wonder what my, my response question's going to be. The red dragon flight will protect this world. Hold so, she. Solicited opinions. Shit. All right, I have choices here, folks. Do you think the Dragon King grievances are legitimate, Arleia? Tell Alexstrasza the dra that the Dragon King were made to serve the dragons and need to keep doing so. I'm actually going to take a screenshot of this because I want to remember all of this. Um, I don't need to see my combo points, though. <laughs> There we go. That'll do. Yeah, I'm just taking a screenshot of this so I remember. I remember my options. So I can think about them later. <laughs> Tell Alexstrasza the dragon kin were made to serve the dragons and they need to keep doing so. No. I don't agree with that. Tell Alexstrasza the dragon kin have been unfairly treated. 
tell it's between it's like tell Alexstrasza some complaints make sense, but they still need to know their place. Oh. I wish there was something between those last two. The first one, no. F that. I'm a broke. Um, Telex stresses, some complaints make sense, but they still need to know their place. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna come clean with the life finder. The dragon can, it was assumed they would just She, yeah, they should have considered the fact that people weren't just going to be like, that's awesome. I'm sorry. I'm going with, um, they have been unfairly treated. Oh, I get more. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take another screenshot because I did not expect to get more. All right. This is, gets complex. I didn't realize it was going to go in this deep. Um, but let's see. Interesting. So, yes, I can definitely see your perspective. And what do you think of her that claims that the, to be equal to dragons? With dragons. Tell us that while the dragon can don't have equal abilities, they think and feel just as dragons do and deserve the same rights and respect. Tell Alexstrasza the dragon can are residents of the dragon owls just like her, so they deserve better treatment than they have received. Tell Alexstrasza the dragon can can't fly and are an immortal. They're not equal in any sense. Well, that third one is not happening. That's bullshit. Um, I'm trying to think if I have any characters that would go that route. Like, you're in charge. This is... They aren't immortal. Listen... Neither are dragons. <laughs> Aspects, yes. Dragons, no. We already went into that today. All right. I'll back up. Um, I just went to a whole thing about there's a whole quest line in 10.1 where you learn there's a dragon graveyard and that they can die of old age in addition to dying terribly mostly to Deathwing apparently. Um, or magical mishaps. <laughs> but um, they can also die of old age. So how are we defining mortal and immortal here? That's my point. Aspects po aspects m are. Um, unless outright killed. Um, Deathwing. <laughs> uh, Malagos. Killed both of them. Um, but... As far as... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go into this. I have to make a decision, so I'm going to make a decision. All right. Um, dragon don't have equal abilities. They think you feel just as dragons do. They deserve the same rights and respect. A residence of the dragon is just like her, so they deserve better treatment than they have received. I, the first one, I'm... I, yeah, it's... Oh, God. There's another response? Okay. Thank you for your insight. What do you feel is the right way to resolve the situation with the rebels? This is giving me a lot of input into this situation that I didn't ask to be put in, Alex. But okay, let's do it. Um, tell Alex Shasta that you would offer the rebels their freedom and treat them as equals. Then invite them to work with the aspects if they choose. Tell Alex Shasta, an occasional dragon can holiday will smooth things over. Tell Extraza the clear solution is to crush the rebels with force. Fuck the last one. Excuse me. The second one is some bullshit. That I want to comment on it. And say that I very much support the developers of this game in every way and if they're sneaking in just a little sort of little needle right there 
I feel you. I hear you. We are, you know, we're, we're working with our union at my job. Um, and these little occasional perks don't make up for general terrible conditions. So if that's a little thing you slipped in there, I see it. I see you. Thank you. Uh, thank you and you're welcome. Um, thank you for the game, the wonderful game, and people who, who put this stuff in here. I see you. Thank you. Anyway, moving on. I'm going with number one because that's the right answer. It's the just answer. Um, give them their freedom and let them decide if they're going to work with them. And if they decide to, if once they have their freedom, if they decide to, you know, strike out still, then deal with it then. Then yes. Then now, now they're the enemy. Now you fight them. I will consider your advice. Thank you, Arlea, for your aid. You are right. We have treated dragonkin as beneath us, and our treatment of them should not be based on our on our power or their position. It should be rooted in who they choose we choose to be. Thank you, Arlea. This makes the path forward clear. See, she liked my advice. From pain we draw strength. This is a pretty awesome quest. Where there is life, there is hope. I will consider your advice. Thank you again, Leia, for your aid. Safeguard all life. Maldra has decided for the rebel code and propaganda you've had. Or Leia, let's put a stop to Belafon's incitement. Valdrakian is under my protection. Clearing up the cliff raft. <laughs> Arleia! Maldra has been going through the propaganda you received, using ciphers she knew from her days as a rebel. She found a coded message that led her to another rebel camp, where Belafon is stirring up rebellion among, among anyone she can. Maldra the, and Inspector Irimar here are already there. Go join them and let's see if we can finally put a stop to this rebellion. Meet Maldra and Arima at the rebellious cliffs. Rebellious cliffs! Uh, I would never have suspicious, su suspected they were a location of a rebellion. Report back. I hope this excursion proves useful, my queen. Indeed, Arleia helped me understand the rebels' mindset more clearly. Will that help us to finally defeat them? No. But these rebels are from our flights. It is my hope that we will not need to defeat them. I will listen. However we resolve the circle situation, I believe we need to treat the dragon kin differently than we have. Life endures. We don't need okay. Let's just Glory just drawing to So let's go now to the rebellious cliffs. Let's have a rebellion. Let's call it the rebellious cliffs. No one will find us at the Rebellious Cliffs. So well hidden, stealthy, our secret operation. That is not my map. All right. I'll land here for a sec. Get my bearings. I did want to check out that one thing, but I'll check it out in a little bit. Just checking to see if there's extra dialogue. Belafon doesn't have anywhere to go from here, Arleia. Hopefully we can all put in hopefully we can all put this rebellion behind us for good. The rebels are are finding their way here from Scalewatch and other locations based on the si same cipher as Maldra found, Alea. Now there are far too many rebels for us to stop, Philippa, without your help. Victory in all your battles. Yeah, Mark West. <laughs> Reconciliation. <laughs> Captain Jain informed me that Alexstrasza wants this done as peacefully as possible, and I've heard Alexstrasza is considering granting the Dragonkin more rights. Or even freedom. Instead of fighting our way through all these rebels, 
when peace may be on the horizon. Let's spread the word. Tell the dragon can hear that things are changing. Perhaps some will lay down their arms and choose to leave. But be prepared to deal with those who insist on fighting. It formed 12 dragonkin of Alexstrasza's plan changes. Guard against chaos. We serve once more. Belafonte, okay. The quill to Until we meet again. The quill to power. Will to power. Um, Arleia, we need to stop the quills from inciting the rebels long enough for us to be heard. Their leader, Belafon, seems to be giving the quills a degree of autonomy with that glowing staff. Gather up as many as you can so you can keep so they can't keep reproducing the whole words. Once they're out of commission, we'll confront her directly, but we don't want the quills to scatter and continue spreading these messages. Gather six enchanted quills. May the flights protect Stop us. the presses. Aspects watch over you. That's it's the gate of Belafon. Incessantly writes propaganda to incite Dragon King to rebel. So this is it, Arleia. As the one propaga propagating the ideas that drive the rebellion, if we can stop Belafon, we can see the end of the rebellion. Try to blind bind her with my ring, though you'll likely need to weaken her first. If she's willing to surrender, we'll bring her to Alexstrasza. I imagine the Queen of Dragons will have a lot of very choice words when they meet. It's the case of instigator Belafon defeated. Four dragon kind. Okay. Oh, shoot. All right. <laughs> I thought maybe. Oh, it's Quill. Okay. I mean, how do I inform them of changes if they won't talk to me? Um, well, let me get out of stealth. That's not convincing them. How do I convince them? I don't know how to convince them. Oh! Diplomatic discussion. There was an item. Our struggle for respect and recognition is finally over. Okay, that's much better. I didn't want to kill yous. I can never forgive the aspects. Look, I tried. At least I can shatter from afar. I can never forgive the aspects. How about you? Can you forgive the aspects? All right. Apparently. I can inform them. I can't make them change their mind. Freedom for all dragon kin. I feel bad because they're right. You know? They're not wrong. Stop moving.
Can they, can it be they're willing to listen? Yeah, you know, I'm. Oh wait, no, you're not. I, I'm using the wrong thing on you. You are not willing to listen. I got all the quills, thankfully. Oh, that was a pain. All right. I mean, I am, I am, am, me, I, shoot. Let me do this one. You are not willing to listen. I want to give you a chance, my friend. Our struggle for respect and recognition is finally over. Okay. I was able to get in an extra. Now let's go kill their leader, dude. Who I think is in here? Have I ever been in here? I don't know. Anyway. Okay, apparently not on this level. Must be on the top level. There's a lot of rebels here. I have to get the sexy bridge, but I don't know where Bellafon confronted. Where's Bellafon? I thought Bellafon was in here. But apparently not. I want to give you a chance. So I'm trying not to kill them. I have no idea where to go though. Um, they're not on top, so I guess it's not this way. Don't go in the cave. When you do this, don't go in the cave. Going in the cave leads to nothing. I have to figure out where the heck Bellafon is. Oops, sorry. Okay, this way. In a cave, but not that cave. 
I think. Yes, in this cave. No, not in this cave. <laughs> Damn, too many caves. Down here, maybe? So not that cave either. Look at all these ancient Titan relics scattered about. Never pass up an opportunity to study the past. Huh, okay, um, hmm. I hear to turn in these. I'm gonna turn them all in together. But maybe it's up here. Maybe that's where you're screwed up. I need to go the other way, perhaps. Or I'm just going in circles now. I don't even know. Okay, yet another cave. It's definitely this one, right? It's definitely, yes. I am gonna stun though. You got no pockets? All right. But I am gonna take this. Because it's here. Because I can. Oh, right, I have to weaken her first. The dragons will never be made to understand. All right, I surrender. I'm prepared to discuss an end to the rebellion if the dragons are reasonable. I will make a case to Elkstrasse directly. Awesome. All right. So. Okay. Aspects gray shine down on you. If we didn't gather up those quills, they'd keep inciting Dragonkin, and we'd keep having more rebels to deal with. Thank you for putting a stop to them. Honor all dragons. Ours is a solemn burden. That's great that so many stopped fighting. Too bad for those that didn't. But if you told me a camp full of rebels was large going to lay down their arms I wouldn't have believed it Alex Chazel will be pleased Arleia service. like this is definitely something that when I play it on on like um a demon hunter I'm gonna RP it at least in my brain in my head cannon probably gonna go with the squash your enemies route. I'm curious to see what happens there, but I'm probably not gonna get there on him for a while. Alright, so let's go find Alexstrasza. Let her know. I'm, I'm hoping... Oh, do I... I have to actually go up there? I may need to rest before I can go up there. Oh! Okay, no. Actually, it's right up here. Alright, let's see. Thank you, Arleia, for helping us to understand this rebellion, for bringing Bel Belafon here. Okay, I want... I, can we take a moment to look at Belafon? Who's wearing spectacles? I didn't even notice that when I was I was trying to weaken her to capture her, but I appreciate it. I suppose I can hear you out. She has special dialogue. Cool. Um, 
For me, the rebellion was always about treating Jenkin right and fairly. I've never been fighting the aspects themselves. Go quickly. I need to hear what the dialogue. What is your business? Don't believe their lies. What do you want? Speak quickly or leave. Okay, I get the gist. The waters flow again. I regret my time in the building, but I'm glad to see my people get greater respect. Thank you for working with their Ema and to bring peace to Valdraken. For Dragon Kai. Okay, Alex, what do you have to say? What is it you seek? Thank you, Arlea. You've aided us in opposing this rebellion from the beginning. Now Valdraken is safe, and more importantly, I will see that the dragon can are treated with the respect they deserve. From pain we draw strength. Reconcilable dissidents. My hope, Arlea, is that our is that our work to understand the rebels will allow us to uh, to find a path to peace. My concerns: if we are not able to come to an understanding with Belafon, other rebels may see her as a martyr for the cause. Whatever happens, you have my gratitude for your assistance throughout the rebellion. Listen to Alex Strauss's conversation with Instigator Belafon. I get a title, the Reconciler. Um, the fall will be cast on you. All right. The balance must be maintained. Let me find a good Life spot. For this. Oh well, I need to actually hear this. So let me go over there. What happens now? I hope Bellafon can see the way forward for Dragonkin. Bellafon. Bellion has gone long enough. But, okay, I'll read this back later. Yes, yeah, because we can just the rights and respects that are fair to Dragon King. I'm glad you've come to see the reason. We fought long and hard for Bellafon. This decision comes despite your violence. Dragon King King, many of your rebels are now dead because of this rebellion. Many of them were innocent, and none needed to die. But in talking with our rebel prisoners, I've come to see. Our treatment of Dragonkin has been, at times, disrespectful, inconsiderate, and unfair. We dragons must hold ourselves to a higher standard, and it shall begin with treating Dragonkin fairly and as equals. That is what I fought for. You, however, must still pay for your crimes. My actions were to make the flight of Dragonkin known, and how many of your kin were sacrificed so you could make that flight known? However, it is my understanding that you have a way with words, and with quills. Yes, that is indeed true. From this day forward, we will invite the Dragonkin to join our work, not demand or require it, but respect as part of the fights, not mere servants of them. If you would be willing to put your words and your quills to work explaining these new realities and this grand invitation to defend Azeroth together, yes, I would do this for my people, and I will defer your sentence while you do this work. As long as the dragon's under this pact, so will I. Madra, your assistance has been invaluable throughout this struggle. Would you be willing to take up this invitation to serve alongside the dragons to protect these isles in Azeroth? My queen, I am honored by your request considering my past to aiding the rebellion. I will consider your request, but for now I must decline. It will take time to see if the dragons will truly abide this equal relationship. If I see Dragon can treat it fairly throughout the Isles over time, perhaps I will return. It's much harder to change accents than to make proclamations. I see. I am sorry to hear that. It's <laughs> going too fast. Um, okay. I'm going to try to read some of that back. Um, now, Bellafon and I will talk about her rebellion, the future Dragonkin, and the rights they shall have. So that's what you say at the start of this. Bit of dialogue... Um, yes, I would do this for my people. Lifefinder says, I will defer your sentence while you do the work. Bellafon says, as long as the dragon's onto this pact, so will I. Um, she turns to Maldra, your assistance has been invaluable throughout the struggle. Would you be willing? <sighs> I've skipped over to 
<laughs> Would you be willing to take up this invitation to serve alongside the dragons and protect the Isles of Nazareth? My queen, I am honored by the request considering my passing the rebellion. I will consider your request, but for now I must decline. I must take time. Okay. Um, perhaps I will turn to offer my aid. All right. I'm trying to see I didn't miss anything. So, I mean, this is a good outcome. Um, Safeguard all life. I'll talk to Bellafon. Take your leave. I have lived to see them return. May the waters protect you. Embrace hope. This crisis has driven us to a better understanding of each other and driven me to be a better leader. And we could not have found the way to peace without your help. Arleia, thank you. The following will be cast on you, the Reconciler. The Red Dragon Flight will protect this world. Greetings. I hope Bellafon can see the way forward for Dragonkin. So there's really not much more to this quest. Um, us. But it's cool. It's a cool quest. I very much like it. I'm I'm very much like that you had all those options of like no no this to be Alex Treza. You, you can choose to go the we must squash them, we must destroy them. Um, if you're so inclined. Or if you have a character that's so inclined. Um, I definitely have at least a couple of characters that might go that route. Um, Demon Hunters and uh, Death Knights might be warming up a bit. <laughs> but there are definitely one or two that would be like, no. To be efficient, we have to... But I don't think this quest lets you do that. I don't think this quest lets you fail to get the title of Reconciler. So I think you may take that stance and Alex Traza may actually fight you on it. So that could be interesting. So I may try that if I get my Demon Hunter around to do this. Um, there are some that definitely would be in the they need to know their place. Um leaning while not being full on we must squash them so yeah and that is that is a pretty great